Hey there, my name's Sarah, and if you're stuck on what to read, watch, or play next, I'm gonna be sharing with you my current reads, things I'm playing, and watching. First book I have to show with you is A Man Called Ove by Frederick Backman, and this is a completely different read than what I normally am gravitated to, which are young adult junior books with like a female lead. And the main character in this book is an older gentleman in a community, and he kind of sticks to the area, teens, checking up on everything, making sure everyone's following the rules, like dumping your garbage in the correct spot, and just like these little seemingly little concerns and very like in his small world. I'm only a couple chapters into it so far. I know that a younger family moves into the community and kind of ruffles his feathers and gets him out of his funk. It's not light-hearted from what I'm slowly gathering and what I understood when I read a little blur about it. There is the subject of suicide and I think related directly to him. This family and people keep interrupting him and this choice that he thinks he wants to make. It does sound a little bit sad when I just talked about it now, but I'm hoping that there are going to be a lot of happy moments as well. This one is called The Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Society by Mary Ann Schaefer and Annie Barrows. Side note, I'm not like super inspired by the cover, but this one is really cool. I first found out about this actually from Netflix because they have a show based off of this book. The way the book reads is in letter form back and forth between various characters. It's about this woman in the UK who's traveling for some of her books and promoting them and it's just after World War II and everyone's really witty. There's this gentleman on this island off of the UK that's writing to her and there's just so many different ways that people go about things that are completely different from now. Like if I wanted a rare book. I'd probably go on the internet, on eBay, and find it fairly quickly, but with him he is just reaching out to this author, I think, or name that he had in a book that he had got. Just reaching out to this random person and making a connection that way in order to get different things that they haven't been receiving, they haven't been receiving a lot of information during or after the war. It's just really interesting and I'm liking this one so far. Apparently you should read the book before watching Netflix. If you're into like Downton Abbey and all those BB shows, I think you'll really be interested in this book. Next is Whatever It Takes by Stephen Stone. Stephen Stone, I never really clarified that. I feel kind of bad because this is what it looks like. If you are a Degrassi fan, you will already know this book. There aren't a lot of behind the scenes reading material about Degrassi and I know it's a very niche thing and maybe a lot of you haven't really watched Degrassi, but I'm sure you know of it because it's, it's pretty popular. I'm sad that it looks like it's not going to be continuing. I know I wasn't really a big fan of Next Class. I was a Next Generation. But I have watched the earlier Degrassi 2 Junior High like in the 80s and 90s. Anyways, so this is described as life lessons from Degrassi and elsewhere in the world of music and television. But of course the main thing that I'm excited to read about is kind of behind the scenes Degrassi. Anything that I can get related to that. It's kind of like a secret guilty pleasure. Not like too bad, but I find that there aren't a lot of fans, but there are a lot of fans. I just, I have not met any of them and don't know them. Um, just people in the internet. <laughs> so this one is a non-fiction adult book. And the other two, of course, were adult fiction. Next is a youth book. I started Oh, my nose is itchy. I started reading this book maybe like a year ago and then I just never finished it. It's called Heartless by Marissa Meyer. She wrote The Lunar Chronicles and I loved that series. I was able to get through that and not put the book down and that seems to be hard for me to do lately. So great author. This one, as you might be able to tell, is surrounding Alice in Wonderland with the Queen of Hearts. But before she becomes the Queen of Hearts, the kin is trying to pursue her. She has different things in mind. There's 
a lot of description of baked goods. She's into baking. It'll definitely make you want to bake something or go to a bakery and buy something. The next two books are adult fiction and youth fiction. I haven't started reading these. I just have heard good things, but I won't be able to describe it too much. So I'm just going to show you really quickly. This one is called The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. This one you might have heard is pretty popular. I just, even from the cover, it's very like fanciful and like circus and just sounds really cool. And then the other one that I plan on reading is called The Rule of Three by Eric Walters. He's a fairly popular, well-known author. This is very almost Y2K, so all the technology is shutting down, and like if you didn't have your phone, your computer, it's just like people's brains stop working. And I'm just I'm interested in reading this because like, whoa, what would that be like? And then moving on to stuff I've been watching, I've been re-watching for like the 10 millionth time Gilmore Girls. I'm on the seventh season and I plan on watching a year in the life right after that. I did watch it when it first came out. Wasn't a huge fan of it, but I'm thinking if I watch it again right after that, I'll be able to kind of be more present with it and connect the dots a bit more. If you are into Gilmore Girls as well, I have a few other videos on that subject on this channel. If you're interested, I'll link them down below and you can watch them later. And then the other thing that I've been watching is this Blu-ray called Disney Celebrating Mickey. Of course, recently it was his 90th birthday and this is really cool because it kind of goes through the evolution of Mickey to the Mickey we know now, starting with the classic Steamboat Willie. And these are just short little shorts <laughs> of Mickey and a lot of them I haven't seen before actually. And I'm a big fan of Disney as well. So I've been really enjoying this. I'm definitely planning on getting this because I feel like I'll watch this more than once. This is a library copy as are all the other books that I have shown you already. I've been playing this phone game a lot if you're looking for a fun phone game and if you happen to be into Animal Crossing, I actually haven't played the game before. I do have it for my 3DS, but this one is the Pocket Camp. Pocket, the, I said that weird pocket camp version and you get to take care of your own campsite, have campers over other animals, you have a cabin and I mainly like it because I can like decorate and like dress my little character up and you can level up and there's new items and you can pick fruit and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm also really into that if you're just looking for a quick fun game that doesn't require a lot of brain power if you're like on the bus or train or on a break, I would suggest that game for sure. And if you have a Goodreads account, I do as well. I'd love to be friends on there. I have it linked down below. Feel free to add me as a friend. I find it really inspirational and encouraging reading wise to see what other people are reading. And I am already friends with some of you on there. So awesome. Let me know in the comments what you're currently reading, watching, and or playing. I'd love to know. Great inspiration for me and for others. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more of the videos that I make and make sure to click that bell icon if you want to be notified as soon as I upload. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.